Don't forget to eat your carbs before you go to bed at night. Sirs. Alrighty guys, tonight we're gonna be trying out Nature Valley baked oat bites. Uh, well, this is certainly gonna be a good one. I'm expecting good things from this one. Let's try it out. Cereal gasm. <laughs> Alright everybody, so it's the start of the video and um, I actually wanted to let everybody know why I've been on my little hiatus. You guys have seen the beginning of this video, unfortunately I had a little issue with my Mac. A week later, I got it back. I'm actually here editing this video right now and I'm hoping to get this video up tonight for you guys, but uh, overall it was really a, a different experience to uh, to be able to not make videos for a week. I don't think I've done that in a long time. Just going through my week, uh, not coming home to edit videos was definitely uh, was a different, different experience for me. Now, I did have a lot of stuff go on and uh, I have so much footage. But instead of just combining it into a massive video, I'm just going to focus on the highlights from this last week. I had a lot of awesome moments, a lot of awesome food, did a lot of different things, so let's get to it. Alrighty guys, it is Friday and we are here at the post office. Alrighty guys, so I figured since I don't have a gigantic package to open up, I can do this in my car. Hi Eric. Enjoy these cookies uh, from New Zealand. Pressing matters from bodyboom.com. That looks delicious. Got a few other flavors. I'll try those out later for sure. So shout out to you, uh, Pressing Matters from uh, bodyboom.com for sending that out to me. So let's see here. I got a Target gift card. You guys are awesome. Target gift card. That's really sick. Cool. During my recovery, your videos helped pull me out of that dark hole I was digging myself into. Especially your recent Ed Chat series. Hands down, the most relatable videos out there. Thank you for sharing your story. This is a longer one, so I won't necessarily read this in front of the camera, but um, thank you for uh, sending this out to me. I appreciate it. Um, what the fuck? It's a fucking power meter. This is a stages power meter. Damn, guys. So Taylor O'Brien, you are the boss. You are the man. I honestly have no words right now. No words at all, dude. Alrighty guys, so about 6.50 right now. So we just got a new hire at the shop and uh, we're gonna be doing a little uh, group ride. Uh, all the guys are kind of casual riders, so I'm gonna take this little Saturday to have a little recovery ride. So I might give you guys a little, uh, I'm gonna stop doing this. Uh, actually get some shots for you guys. I didn't bring my action cam or anything like that, so um, might be from the iPhone. Might not get anything, but uh, I'll be checking in with you guys. Stay tuned. That feeling when you make it to the very top and you're still waiting on everybody to catch up to you. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Strong. Someone needs a new derailleur. Yeah, it goes in. Recovery ride down. Starbucks in. Good guys. Overall, lifting went pretty well for uh, for this week and everything, and I actually felt awesome in the gym. I actually wanted to kind of take this week instead of you know hammering out and try to get new PRs and try to get uh, new maxes and everything like that. I just really wanted to focus on actually uh, kind of di diversifying my uh, my training, actually trying new exercises. And to be honest, there wasn't really any milestones or anything like that from this week. I did try some new things. Um, to be honest, guys, I mainly focused on the new power meter that I got and focused on riding more and lifting less. And actually found that I was stronger in the gym after that. I was stronger uh, on my lifts. And to me, that may be a solution. Dial back the frequency of, uh, of training in the gym. And, um, you know, if I'm going to keep my riding the same. And, yeah, I mean, I'm right now, I'm just, I'm in love with uh, the power meter. I'm in love with uh, how I feel when I'm actually going into most of my rides. And uh, I'm on more of a 
of a structure and I know um, I know my efficiency when you know how much power you're putting out on a bike you know what you're doing really in that sense your your efficiency increases dramatically you know your cadence you know your speed you know just all about your your threshold really uh, how much your uh, your capacity is at your stamina it just you, you, I'm able to do so much more now I'm able to actually build uh, more of a uh, of a routine based around my riding and from that I can actually kind of fine-tune my lifting as well so Stoked about it, stoked to see what else goes on. Stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. Get my own horn or anything, but damn. Now we gotta try this out. Killed it, once again. Alrighty guys, it's Saturday right now. I just got back home from work and uh, another long day, but uh, got off a little bit early, got to the gym and everything like that. Of course, we get the live stream tonight, uh, you know, the usual, Saturday night. I'm gonna be doing that giveaway tonight, which is really, really cool. More importantly though, I got groceries, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Let's get to it. I went to Target first and saw the new, yes, new Honey Bunches of Oats whole grain. So it's perfectly acceptable to eat the entire box in one sitting. Um, <laughs> honey Crunch, so I'm excited to try this out. It was on clearance, so I figured I'd pick it up, try it out. And of course, I got my Diet Cherry 7 up, which would be really good. And I'm trying this out. The Seattle's best coffee. I've never had this before. This is the uh, medium, medium balanced blend. So, uh, looking forward to trying that. Smelled good. So, too. these are in all targets if you guys haven't seen them already. There's also uh, an oregano blend, I believe. So, give that a shot. Um, you know, essential shaving cream. King, uh, more items with um, whole wheat flour. I just haven't been able to find just straight up whole wheat flour in my Kroger recently, so I wanted to get a big bag of it so I can start uh, just making more bread, more stuff with it. I like the way the texture of whole wheat flour is really, really good. And of course, I have my coffee syrup right here. Um, after that, we move on. Went to Kroger, AKA Ralph's. This stuff's awesome right here. Um, black beans, you guys know how I do it. Then we have rice cakes right here. Gotta have my uh, cocoa for the mornings. Goes so great on top of coffee. Then we have the honey peanut butter from Justin's. Legit. And they also have a honey almond butter as well, so definitely give that a shot if you guys haven't already. Now this, boom, this is gonna go great on top of uh, my veggies. I figured I'd throw these on top, add a little crunch. Now I'd usually do ramen as well, but I have to toast that. I don't have to toast this, so this will go great on top. These. I haven't had waffle fries in forever, and I saw these and immediately my mouth started watering, so uh, therefore that means you have to buy it ASAP, so um, in my head at least. So, waffle fries right there, uh, just some bread onion on sale, so put those on the pizza. And then like I mentioned um, in my live stream, I'm actually starting to eat egg whites again, and I've just been noticing, um, you know, I'm a hippie when it comes to bioavailability with protein and stuff like that. I'm not going to get into it right now, but um, yeah, I feel like that's making a pretty big difference in my training right now. Anyways, tofu, random pear, I was just feeling the pear. And then last but not least, we have the greens. You guys got to always include your greens, romaine right there, and Brussels sprouts. So. That is what I'm rocking with right now, guys. Stay tuned for the live stream. Everybody's in a live stream right now. Say hello. You are on camera. This is the infamous giveaway live stream. So everybody is on and there we go. I'll let these run a little bit longer.
It is really hot though. You guys see how I have to suffer through this? See what, see what I do? That's saucy. It's not a holy shit balls, but we still got a lot of sauce, which is good. Alrighty guys, tonight we're gonna be trying out Nature Valley Baked Oat Bites. Uh, this is a brand new cereal. I've never seen this before, so I was really excited to try this out. They also have another, um, it's like a Honey Bunches of Oats flavor. Um, I just had Honey Bunches of Oats, so I wanted to go with this. Uh, yeah, really excited to try this out. Let's get to it. Oh my God, this is gonna be good. <laughs> That smells like... I have no words for that. Let's just try the damn cereal. That's just way too good. Well, this is certainly gonna be a good one. Well guys, I'm expecting good things from this one. Let's try it out. Cereal Gasm. Oh my goodness gracious. How in the world can this be this good? Oh my goodness, guys. I'll be right back after I contain myself. Alrighty, I'm back. This is absolutely insane, guys. So, if you guys haven't tried this already, uh, this is a must have right now. I have no way of really describing this flavor to you guys, but it's really hard. I don't know, I can't even put it into words. I'm like struggling to contain myself right now. I will say that this cereal melts in your mouth. I just, I don't know, I can't put it, I can't put a taste, I can't put a taste to it. I just wanna keep eating it. Cereal I think clocks in at like six grams of fat per serving, but it's a dense cereal. It's definitely worth it. Guys, I'm gonna have to say this. I found the new 10 out of 10.